What does the future hold for the AC-130J gunship, an icon of modern aerial warfare? This question has been resonating in the halls of the U.S. Air Force Special Operations Command. The AC-130J, the latest iteration in a series of heavily armed gunships is facing a significant shift. Historically this aircraft equipped with a formidable 105mm cannon has played a pivotal role in military operations. But now, with the end of the Afghanistan war, the military is rethinking its strategy and the use of this gunship. This isn't a simple case of obsolescence. Rather, it's about adapting to changing geopolitical realities and evolving battlefields. A significant part of this strategic rethink is the potential removal of the AC-130J's 105mm cannon. Yes, you heard that right. The cannon, a symbol of the gunship's might, may be replaced as the military shifts its focus towards China, a nation with advanced air defenses. This potential transformation of the AC-130J is emblematic of a larger shift in aerial warfare. It's not just about firepower anymore, it's about agility, versatility, and the ability to engage in a variety of combat scenarios. It's about preparing for the future, even if it means parting with the past. As we face a new era of warfare, the AC-130J gunship is set for a radical transformation. The U.S. Air Force Special Operations Command is conducting an analysis through 2025 to assess the capabilities of the AC-130J. As part of this evaluation, the command is contemplating a series of potential changes that could redefine the operational capacity of this game-changing aircraft. Among these considerations is the introduction of small cruise missiles. These miniature yet powerful projectiles could enhance the AC-130J's striking capabilities, allowing for more precise and flexible engagements. This could be a game-changer in future conflicts, augmenting the aircraft's ability to respond rapidly and effectively to emerging threats. The command is also considering implementing an advanced radar system. This upgrade would significantly boost the AC-130J's detection capabilities, allowing it to identify and engage targets with greater precision and at greater distances. In a high-intensity conflict scenario, this could be the difference between success and failure. Communication upgrades are another potential enhancement. In an era where information is a key battlefield asset, an upgraded communication system could facilitate more effective information exchange, enabling the AC-130J to better coordinate with ground forces and other aerial assets. However, these potential upgrades come with their own set of challenges. The most controversial of all is the possible removal of the 105mm cannon. This would necessitate significant structural alterations to the aircraft, potentially costing millions of dollars. There are differing views on this move. Some experts argue that without the cannon, the AC-130J might be less effective in a high-intensity conflict against a formidable adversary like China. Others however believe that the aircraft could be just as effective if not more, with the proposed upgrades. The final decision on the fate of the cannon and any potential replacement remains uncertain. This decision will undoubtedly shape the future of the AC-130J and by extension, the future of aerial combat. As we wait for the verdict, one thing is clear, the AC-130J is poised for change, a change that could redefine the rules of engagement in the skies. The reconsideration of the 105mm cannon is driven by factors such as the future fight scenario and the desire to expand capabilities beyond special operations. As we shift focus towards potential conflict with formidable adversaries like China, the AC-130J fleet is under scrutiny. Budget constraints are playing a significant role in shaping this decision. The Air Force is forced to make tough choices, and this has led to a reduction in the planned fleet size of the AC-130J from 37 to 30. The potential costs or savings of the weapon change are still being determined. Removing the cannon would require significant structural changes to the aircraft, and that could cost millions of dollars. On the other hand, keeping the gun in place for missions in less hostile environments might prove cost-effective. These factors are part of a larger complex calculation that the Air Force is currently undertaking. Whatever the outcome of the analysis, it's clear that the AC-130J is on the brink of a new chapter. The AC-130J gunship, a symbol of American air power, is facing an uncertain future. As we've discussed, the U.S. Air Force Special Operations Command is contemplating the removal of the 105mm cannon from the AC-130J Ghost Rider aircraft. 
This decision is part of a larger endeavor to reassess the use of this heavily armed gunship, following the end of the Afghanistan war and a shift in focus towards other global powers. Potential changes under consideration include the addition of small cruise missiles, an advanced radar system, and communication upgrades. The fate of the cannon and any potential replacement remains undecided, pending an analysis through 2025 to assess the capabilities of the AC-130J. The decision to remove the cannon would require substantial structural alterations to the aircraft and could cost millions of dollars. It's worth noting that the Pentagon has already downsized the planned AC-130J fleet size from 37 to 30. As the U.S. Air Force redefines its strategy for the future, the AC-130J gunship will undoubtedly continue to play a crucial role, albeit in a form that we may not yet recognize. Thank you for watching our video on the future of the AC-130J gunship. We hope you found it both informative and thought-provoking. We'd love to hear your views on the potential changes to the AC-130J. Do you think removing the 105mm cannon is a good move, or should it remain a core component of the gunship? Let us know in the comments section below. If you found this video informative, please hit the like button. Your support helps us continue to bring you in-depth content like this. And don't forget to share this video with others who might be interested in the evolving landscape of aerial warfare. If you haven't done so already, remember to hit the subscribe button. By subscribing, you'll get notifications for all our new content and stay updated on the AC-130J and other fascinating topics in aerial warfare. Stay tuned for more updates on the AC-130J and other topics in aerial warfare. We greatly appreciate your support and look forward to continuing this journey together.